Hello and welcome to JavaScript Programming Language Course for Beginners. This is an introduction to JavaScript course. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this JavaScript course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's proceed to our lesson. Section 10, JavaScript and Location. Lesson 10.2, Geolocation and Google Maps. Now that we have a pair of coordinates, we can use them with a Google Maps API or Application Programming Interface. The API we'll use is called Static Map. This is one of the easier Google Mapping APIs to get to grips with it. It uses something called a query string to get the various options available to us. The query streams. A query string is a way to get information using a key-value pair. Here's an example of a key-value pair. Sensor equals false, and in the query string above, sensor is the key and false is the value. The two are separated by an equal sign with no spaces between the two. The sensor key is required if we are using Google's static maps. A value of false means we're not updating the information. We just want the data once. The two query strings are separated from each other with the ampersand character. For example, there is a size key that takes a height and width as its value. To separate the two query strings, we do this. Size equals 500 by 500 and sensor equals false. To keep things simple, we'll use three other keys. We have the center, the zoom, and markers. The center key is required. Its value can be a pair of latitude and longitude coordinates separated by a comma or an actual address center equals the place. The zoom key refers to how much detail we want to display. A zoom value of zero means we want to view the whole world. A value of 21, the highest, means we want to zoom in really close. The zoom key is required if we want to miss the marker's key. The marker's key refers to the position marker over the coordinates we want. This can be quite complicated, so we urge you to study the documentation in the link shown. We'll keep it simple though and just add our latitude and longitude coordinates again. So here's the whole thing. Let's break that down a bit. The first line just joins our two coordinates together, separated by a comma. The comma goes between quote marks, single or double. There must be no spaces between our comma and our quotes. The second line is where we return the Google map. And the first map part is this. The question mark at the end means that a query string follows. Our query string itself is this. Center equals plus sign POS plus sign. The double quote marks after center equal 
is matched to the first one before HTTPS. We need to do this because our coordinates are held in a variable plus POS plus. If we put quote marks around a variable, JavaScript treats it as a string and just prints the variable name rather than its contents. This concatenates the POS variable with the rest of the string. The next part is this. And zoom equals 15 and size equals 500 by 500 equal and markers. So we're setting the zoom level to 15 and the size to 500 by 500. The markers are the same as the values in the POS variable. In other words, put a position marker over the latitude and longitude coordinates. Finally, reset sensor to false. When Google has finished with our query string, it will return an image with a map we requested. Our image is being held in the variable we call display. We need to add this to an image tag and place it in the body of the HTML. The next two lines do that. Var image display equals image source equals display. Document that get element by ID map inner HTML equals image display. The first line creates the HTML image element. With the display variable as the source, the second line uses inner HTML to add the image of the page. The whole of the getLongLat function should look like this. Make sure we're online and test it out in our browser. If all went well, we should see a map displayed for our current location. For a complete list of codes and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.